What's going on guys? Welcome to the first video of this top-down RPG series. Uh, my name is Dustin and what we're going to be doing today is just setting up um, our game to so that we can start creating it. Uh, so first thing that I want you to do is if you just go online and go to this website right here, this is the character that we're going to be using for this series. Uh, it was created by Game Crazy Crazy. Game Crazy, I think, is what he was going for. Uh, but anyways, he created this little character here, and it's absolutely free to download. Uh, you can use it however you want to, personal, commercial. However, you don't need to uh, um, credit him in any, in any way, although I'm sure he would really appreciate it. So um, go ahead and download this character here. Just click the Download Now button. Uh, you can name your own price, uh, or you can just download it for free. Um, and yeah, so let's get into Unity. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to rename this project. We're going to start a new project. We're going to call this Top Down RPG. Choose the location you want it to save to. And then the template, we're going to be using the 2D template. Now, there's not really too awful many differences between 2D and 3D templates. Um, it's just uh, one or two minor settings that if you do accidentally click 3D, we can you can always switch that switch it to basically 2D uh, within the editor itself. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and select 2D, and I'm going to create the project. <coughs> and so this might take a minute to load up, so I will be back in just a moment. All right, now that we got Unity loaded up, uh, I want to change a couple of things about this. Uh, so this is kind of the default layout that uh, Unity defaults to, and it's all right. It's, it's got the scene in the game window, or scene in the game, scene and game window within the same window. It's got the hierarchy over here on the left, project and console down below, and inspector over here on the right. I don't personally care for this layout, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to window, go to layout, and I like the two by three. This one is just more comfortable for me to work in, but you can choose whatever layout you really want. Uh, this uh, four split screen here is a little much for what we're doing. Um, you can choose tall, you can choose wide, and then if you could also customize this however you want it to be. Um, and if you you can once you get to a way that you really like it, you can always just click save the loadout or excuse me, save the layout, and then you will have that specific layout for you. But I'm just going to go ahead and select this 2 by 3 here, because this is what I like working in. Um, the next thing I want to do is, in my game window down here, this free aspect. I don't really like using free aspect. Um, it, it's uh, basically just, I mean, I don't like it. Just depending on the size of the screen, you see how this camera changes, and it's not ideal for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this resolution down here to this 1920 by 1080. It's kind of a standard resolution that's used in a lot of computers nowadays. Uh, so I'm gonna select that. If you don't have this 1920 by 1080, you can just go ahead and click this uh, plus button and type in 1920 and 1080 here, and then you'll have that resolution. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And then also what I wanna do is, uh, so Unity creates this sample scene for us. It's basically just the starting scene for us to work in, and it automatically names it sample scene. Um, I don't know why, but I don't like that at all. We're not going to be creating our first level right off the bat. We're going to be testing a few things and basically just creating the elements to make our game work. So I'm just going to call this test. And you'll notice that'll change up here in the hierarchy as well. Um, so now I want to go into our asset folder and I'm going to create a few more folders just to kind of get things a little set up. Uh, I'm not exactly the most organized of people, so I want to try and do this as early on as possible, otherwise I will forget to do it, and things will get just all messy over here. So I just went create new folder, and I'm going to call this folder scripts, 
I'm going to right click again, create another new folder. I'm going to call this art. And I'm going to create another new folder. And I will call this animations. And I'm going to create one more. I'll call this prefabs. And I th I think that's all I'm going to be using right now. Um, if I need another folder, we can just create another one later on. But I think this is good to kind of start off with. So now what I want to do is, uh, in the last video, in my little intro video, I had you go to uh, a website and download uh, a character. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to where that was uh, downloaded in. Um, and I'm just going to click and drag that into our art folder. So and once you do that, Unity will import it. And then we can just open it up in here. So now that we have this uh, folder in here, if you open it up, you got a we have a character folder and we have a weapon folder. The weapon is one single weapon. It's a sword. It's just a uh, like a little slash animation uh, for our character. Um, and then in the character uh, folder, we have all these uh, different small sprite sheets. Uh, it looks like they broke it up into just a bunch of different sprite sheets, as opposed to just having um, one single sprite sheet for all of these animations. So um, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can see a little bit more of... I can't see any of the words here. Let's do this. There we go. So it looks like, so we got character down, uh, down left, down right, left. So it looks like this is an eight directional uh, character. So instead of facing up, down, left, right, it can also face diagonal and, and whatnot. Um, there's also a little roll animation here. Um, and then there's a slash animation as well. So first thing that I want to do is I want to hit control A to select all of these. Um, texture type is already set to sprite 2D and UI. Um, if you had opened up Unity as a 3D template, this will be set to default and you're going to need to change it to sprite 2D and UI. And then sprite mode, we're going to set this to multiple because there are multiple sprites within each sprite sheet that we want. Pixels per unit is, I'm going to set it to 16. Uh, filter mode, we're going to set it to point no filter. And then the max size, we're going to set it to 256. Um, we could set it to 128, but there are some sprites down here. Uh, these ones, all these slash animations, um, it gets real fuzzy with that, and we would need to change it to 256 for these ones particularly for it to look clear. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and set all of these to 256, so I don't have to worry about going through and setting each individual one to anything else. So then I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. So now, what we can do is, if we, I'm going to go up to the very top to our character down sprite sheet. I'm going to click it and click Sprite Editor. So, now what I want to do is I want to basically slice this up into four different uh, images for us to use. Because you'll notice there are four different images here. I mean, I guess this one and this one are uh, the same, but these two here are opposite. This is our uh, walk animation. So uh, I'm going to just go ahead and click Slice. And instead of using Automatic, I'm going to select Grid by Cell Size. And the size we want to use is 32 by 32. So we can go ahead and click Slice right there. And it will break this up into four different images here. So perfect. So let's go ahead and hit Apply. And now if we click this drop down arrow here, you'll see that we now have four individual images to use. So now what I want to do is I want to do that for all of these right here. So I'm going to do this off camera, but 
basically all I'm going to be doing is if I leave this sprite editor open, I can just click the next one and it'll automatically update here. And then I can just click slice. And since we already, since we left this open and we already did this for the first one, this is already set to 32 by 32. We can just go ahead and click slice and then apply. Click the next one, slice, slice, and apply. And then I'm just going to go through this list and do all of those that way so that we have everything sliced up and ready to go for whenever we want to use them. So I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so now that I have all of these sliced up, uh, what I want to do is go all the way to the top in my character down sprite sheet. And I just want to drag this first character into our scene, into our hierarchy. And that'll pop up right here in our scene and directly in front of our camera so it shows up in our game view. Um, I'm going to change the name here to player. And I want to give it the player tag up here. And then sorting layer, I want to create a new sorting layer. So I'm going to add new sorting layer, click the little plus arrow, and type in player. So then if I click the player again, I can change that sorting layer to the player layer. Great. So now I think that is all that I'm going to be doing for uh, this video. Uh, if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know uh, if there's anything you want to add into this game. Uh, it's pretty open right now. Um, I'm not 100% sure exactly how I'm going to do this yet. Um, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to use a, uh, a lot of things from, uh, I'm going to try and replicate certain things from like, for instance, Zelda. I like Zelda games a lot. So, um, I'm going to try and use a lot of things from that. Um, but for the most part, I don't really have much of a plan for this right now. So, uh, Leave me a comment down below, and I will see you next time.